This is Moonshine and Music with Joe Shelton. Wait a minute, that's me. Anyway, we're going to bring you some inspiring songwriters, musicians, and maybe some side challenges and other stuff around the music industry. So stick with us right now, because the show is coming your way. Woo! Woo! Moonshine and Music starts right now. Welcome to Moonshine and Music. Today we have Elizabeth Moss on set. How are you, Elizabeth? I'm great. How are you? I am good. It is a crazy Sunday in here. You know, we'll get we get people together. We do some moonshine and music in. And um, we're probably a little young for moonshining, though. How, oh, how yeah. old are you? I'm I, 17. You know, I, I knew you were like uh, pre-21. Yeah. But I, I wasn't exactly sure on the age. So uh, I know I've seen you around playing uh, songs... Um, in the scene for a, a good little while. Um, how, how does it go when you're a teenager and you're trying to, to make your way in this music thing? It's, it's hard to balance sometimes. Um, I wish I could do more, um, but you know, a lot of weeknights I, I want to go out to open mics, but then, you know, homework. Uh, but it's, <laughs> it's been good and I've, I started, I had my first gig actually, I think it was a year ago yesterday. and. Um, I've just been going pretty strong since, and it's been fun. Um, yeah, and I hope to have more time to do more of it after high school. Right. Do you have, like, a record going on or anything? I'm beginning to record. Um, yeah, I think hopefully next month I'm going to try and start recording an album with Jim Bailey and Irvington. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's been going, I mean, I've gotten kind of the beginning stages, and it's, it's a lot of work, an album. It's yes. Uh, so, wh you know, when you start doing that, I mean, I know I, I learned at a greater age. Like, I, I started doing my first record when I was much older. Um, do, you, do you find that um, you become a little bit overwhelmed with all of the, just the little process things that are part of it? Yeah, uh, yeah, because um, the person who was helping me kind of go through this process said, like, get your tempos down and practice 10 minutes every day just make sure you're comfortable and i confess i haven't really gotten that every day and um uh oh she's telling herself oops yeah and um yeah there's a lot of details involved i didn't really think of that now i'm starting to think of like you know album art like who's gonna do that and then getting everything else together there's a lot of components and yeah i mean I, you know you think oh you just go in and you sing the songs and then you find out, wait a minute, no, I don't just yeah. play the songs, right? There's like so many little technical issues. Mm -hmm. And um, when when I was uh, first working on one, I know I struggled a lot with, like, uh, when you play with band members live, it's one thing. When you play with them and you're trying to record, it's a whole different thing, right? Everything's got to be <laughs> yeah. together, you know? And I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'm looking for it, well not looking forward to see how that's going to play out in the studio because I don't want to waste time but also I want to get everything just right and I've actually I never really played with a live band so um, I'm going to bring extra musicians on to do the song so um, I don't really know how that's going to work out but I am excited to have more than just me because I think more people will bring a bigger sound definitely and better sound. So did you grow up here in Indianapolis? Uh, were you uh, born and raised here? Where? Yep, uh, been on the east side of Indianapolis all my life and still there. Still there? Well, uh, you know, um, I live just a little bit east of Indy, but I, I, I live basically on the east side. <laughs> and uh, so there's a lot of good music and musicians in the area. Do, yeah. do you find yourself running into them a lot over there or is it a, you know, just, you know, whenever I can thing? Um, yeah, I don't really see people around that much, but I know like Jeff Kelly's in Irvington and um, a few other people. And yeah, there's an open mic down there at the Ten Johnson. Well, it used to be the Ten Johnson Coffee House. I've been there a few times, and here's some good local artists. And um, Jeff Kelly has a house show in Irvington that I've been on, and um, he has a lot of great musicians there. So that's been fun, and yeah, I've been surprised at how many, how much talent there is where I live. Because before I started getting into music, I didn't really think about, you know, live music in Indianapolis. You think of that more as like, you know, in New York and Los Angeles. But there's still really great music scenes in smaller communities. 
So how old were you when you started playing? I mean, I know you're, you know, you started uh, going out and playing, you know, live about a year ago, but how long have you been playing guitar and singing and writing songs? I started playing guitar when I was in eighth grade, so I would have been 15, and then I didn't really start writing songs until about a year later. Um, like, yeah, when I was 16, I kind of started writing music more, and then I played my first open mic two years ago last month, and I was so scared, but um, I played that one, and I was, yeah, my hands were shaking, I was so sweaty, but then I kept doing it, and um, it's been fun, yeah, so I wrote most of my songs when I was 16, and I've kind of hit a writer's block right now, but I'm trying to get back into it. A writer's block? It, 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 do you... Um what I, what I think of as writer's block is, I've run out of ideas. Oh my God, there's no more ideas in the world for songs. And then one day, there's like 35 ideas that hit you at once. Does that happen to you too, or is it just me? <laughs> I The first part has happened to me. I haven't really hit this part where I have a bunch of ideas back. Um, <laughs> so I you're hope hopeful. That, yes, hopeful. <laughs> Hopefully, like when I, I'm hoping that moving to a new city, will, like when I go to college, will get me some more inspiration. But yeah, I've kind of hit a spot where I just haven't, you know, there's not a bunch new in my life to write about. You know, I'm, I'm still pretty young and I haven't had, I guess, as much experience. So yeah, I'm hoping that I get more ideas soon. <laughs> well, you know, a new city can do that. I've gone on vacation before and just like songs started hitting me, you know. Yeah. It's like I'm going down the road and I go through some little town and suddenly I have an idea or, you know. Yeah, that's happened to me too. Uh, so it's, you know, I, that, that'll that probably happen for you. I mean, I don't know. Um, the, the road traveled in music and also sometimes you hit, hit things that, that could be, you know, things you could pick up on. I mean, I'm trying to help you with ideas here. I don't know what I've got. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's fine. Yes. Sometimes I'll I'll write a song like based off of a book I read or a movie. Sometimes that helps just getting out of my own head and writing about other people or like fiction. I like that doing that when I running low on ideas. Oh, I, I can see that. So what do your parents do? Are they um, are they big into the music with you, or are they, were they musicians also? Um, I don't really come from a big music family. My dad didn't really ever do anything. My mom played flute and band for a while. Um, that's about as far as she went with music. So um, they're kind of new to this, um, but they've enjoyed like getting into the music scene because they didn't really know it existed to the extent like same as I so it yeah it's been new for all of us and we've had fun and they've been really supportive like uh, I don't have my license yet so they have driven me to every show and open mic and I'm super grateful for them and they've been really supportive of me well you know the, the license will be important later for when you have to have the uh, you know quintessential tour van you know like yeah. 20 year old beat up <laughs> whatever it is that you drive to shows that's you know what all of us uh, generally start out with yeah in some way so um you know that's fun so you you um have you played uh, just in town in indy or have you tried to branch out and play in other places mostly in indy uh, i played an open mic a few open mics in nashville i went there a couple months ago nashville tennessee to um do some college visits and i actually got a spot at the bluebird cafe for an open mic and that was really cool because um, a lot of famous people have played there i played there oh really so, wow yeah, yeah. nice yeah it, that was fun um but i haven't that yeah that was the only out of state time i've ever played and um, i'm hoping to book some so far shows uh, this summer because we're gonna we're going to vermont so hopefully i can oh that's cool do that so the um when you were down at the bluebird um it's, it's a interesting experience because it's always really 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 packed so <laughs> did that did that did you get the sweats back was it like the first time you did an open stage again or i was surprisingly pretty relaxed uh mm. Yeah, I, I get nervous a little bit beforehand, but usually once I step on stage, it kind of all goes away, and I just play my song, and I don't really feel the nerves at that point. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody has the butterflies, no matter how many shows you do. Yeah, and <laughs> yeah, I realized that, because recently I've played a lot of um, kind of like car 
cars, coffee shops and bars where, um, you know, it's not really a listening room environment. So I've kind of, <laughs> I've, I've gotten used to people not really listening to me. And then like last week I played uh, a songwriter round and that was the first time in like a while that I've played to an attentive crowd. So then I got really nervous and I made a bunch of stupid mistakes because I'm like, oh crap, people are actually listening to me and watching me. So that kind of reminded me that I'll never really get over the nerves and it's always something I, I'll have to work with it's pretty um, that's a that's a pretty funny thing because you are playing and th the weirdest thing is it'll seem like no one's listening and then like five or six people like right after you're done will come walking up and go I really like that song whatever the one that you felt was the loudest and least heard yeah you know what I mean <laughs> yeah and that's really I love those moments because <laughs> Sometimes I'll be in a bad mood and think, gosh, like no one really cared, but then people will come up sometimes and it's always a nice reminder, even if it's just one person, that, that definitely makes the whole night better for me. Uh, all right. Um, we, we are not sure what our mystery guest is doing today, but uh, we always have a mystery guest in the show. I don't know if you've watched many of the Moonshine Music episodes, but our mystery guest today is the Moonshine Life Coach. Ooh. He is comedian Brent Lee Smith. Hello. Um, his life advice is often, um, I, say, I would say take it with a grain of salt, but we'll see what he's got. Yeah, take it with like, a huge grain of salt. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, just a forewarning, I'm not yet certified, I'm getting closer. So this is kind of like my internship going through. Uh, just going to put everything up front, so you know, expectations are mitigated just a little bit. Mm -hmm. but. I think we can we can work something out. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, uh, is there anything uh, you specifically want to work on or anything? Who? Um, I don't know. What do you have in mind? <laughs> I want to start with something simple. Uh, like, what time do, do you wake up in the morning? Um, I usually wake up at. Well, my alarm goes off at six, and I'll usually get up about half an hour later. <laughs> All right. Well, that's too early. Uh, maybe do that. Uh, <laughs> Maybe ten thirty, eleven. Oh, okay. <laughs> like you know, that's like the, the perfect time to to start your day to be successful. Anything before that, and you're just wasting wasting hours. You know, that's that's a fair point. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but <laughs> school starts before that for her, right? Oh, yeah. I can yeah. just come in like third period. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's no big deal. Okay. And you know, the important thing is that you, know, you start your day right. Um, okay. Uh, well, what time do you go to bed? Um. 11 pretty regularly. Mm. All right. <laughs> That's uh, also too early. <laughs> like, you know, prime creative hours are like, you know, between 1 and 4. <laughs> that is true. Sometimes. Maybe I'll this is why the writer's block is coming on. Right? <laughs> yeah, I just need to You've been sleeping. stay up all night. I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's okay to take a nap, you know. Like, if you're coming to school a third period, take a nap like six period, and you'd be good for later on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just, uh, you know. Not listen at all. Yeah, just don't nap during any kind of social studies class, because those are important. Yeah, true. <laughs> like, the rest, you can just read a book or something. And social studies have to be social. Yes, that's, that's, that's social true. studies. Yeah. Um, so, uh, like, what's your kind of genre of music that you play? Um... I realize singer songwriter is a blanket term, but that's usually what I say. Uh, like indie, acoustic. Okay. Uh, have you thought of a thrash metal? <laughs> I have not, but I, uh, you know, always could experiment. Yeah, I do like acoustic thrash metal, and then have like a trash can symbol. <laughs> I guess, you know, that's just gold. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you know, I can even like, put a pedal on it, <clears throat> but the pedal just makes it spin. It doesn't make a noise. <laughs> That would be fun to try. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, if you need some help with that, I know a guy. Cool, cool. <laughs> he knows a guy. Yeah, of course yeah, he let does. Let me know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, one last thing. Uh, you have any siblings? I have one brother. One he's, brother? Uh, Is he older or younger? He's older. He's he's 22, I think. Okay. Uh, it might be best just to stop talking to him for like a year and a half. 22-year-old <laughs> guys, like they're going through stuff, so <laughs> give him the space. You know, doesn't need his little sister bugging him too much. Plus, it gives you more time to focus on your music. Yeah, yeah. definitely. I'll just cut, cut him off. Yeah. Unless, he, uh, unless he wants to help with the, the trash can symbol. I don't know that's, if he'd be in, any help in that. Well, the more reason to cut him off. Yeah. If you can't support your music, then you just need to yeah. get over it. Daniel, if you're listening, just leave me alone. There you go. Right. And, uh, any last questions for a go? I gotta uh, write this up so I get credit okay, for wow. my internship. What's your your biggest your biggest tip to live a successful life? The biggest tip to live a successful life: uh, don't fail. 
<laughs> insightful, insightful. Yeah. Right, it's okay to fail a little bit, but don't fail overall because uh, failure is the, the biggest detriment to success. True. Thank, uh, thank you. Wow. wow. All right. Well, I'm glad I was able to help a little bit. Thank nice you. To meet you. Nice to meet you as well. See you, uh, Jim. Brent Lee Smith, Moonshine Life Coach. <laughs> yeah. And what I would say is um, the best advice that he gave there was to take everything he said with a huge grain of salt. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So, uh, what are, what are you going to be singing for us today up there? What are the what are the songs? Um, I think I'll start with a song I wrote called "Caverns," which is about kind of nearing the end of a big stage in my life, which is high school. Um, kind of dealing with the hope and anxiety of the future. And then the next one um, I think I'll be playing is called "Sunrise." It's one of the first songs I wrote and holds a special place in my heart. Yeah, I, you know, I love that. Like, um, the first songs that I wrote were so terrible that I never want them to see the light of day, but yours is called Sunrise. Yeah. So, I mean, that's, you know. Yeah, that is, I didn't think about you know, that. Your song, your song early on is called Sunrise, and maybe it's the beginning. I like that. Yeah. That's, yeah. So, um, anyway, you, you're about ready to get up there and do some actual singing and uh, less of this chat. <laughs> sure, yeah. All right. Well, we'll be right back on Moonshine of Music with Elizabeth Moss here on the Moonshine of Music stage. Thank, thank you for you. coming in. Yeah, thank that. you for having me. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Moss, and this is my song, Caverns. It's called Sunrise.
time as we watch the sunrise slip away. Moonshine and Music is a presentation of Not Less Entertainment. Copyright 2020. All rights reserved. The producer for today's show was Joe Shelton. Our cameraman grip and stunt double was Brent Lee Smith. On cameras and all sorts of other things, Bailey Shelton. And our staff guru is Brent Schlemmer. Join us each Sunday for new episodes right here with Moonshine and Music. <laughs>